What's going on, Geeks and Gamers? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost and GeeksandGamers.com, and we are only a month removed from the release of Pokemon Legends Arceus, so I don't think a lot of people were ready for the announcement that came today. But nonetheless, Pokemon fans got a massive surprise when the Pokemon Company and Game Freak announced that not only are we getting a free DLC to Pokemon Legends Arceus that came out today, but also, they announced two new games. The first games of the ninth generation of Pokemon, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And they're coming out later this year. So within the span of one year, we're not only getting Pokemon Legends Arceus, but we're also going to be getting Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. They dropped a teaser trailer, they dropped some information, and they revealed the starters. So we're going to go over what they put out today. This came a big surprise to a lot of people. Because um, I don't know, especially with the success of Pokemon Legends Arceus, and you know, with what they did in that game, and I, I think it was received pretty well you know I played the game I've liked the game what I've played of it so far um and I for one like the different take on it the different approach to Pokemon I was not sure exactly when their next follow-up would be but they made that very clear Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are coming to the Switch later this year an open world adventure and we're gonna get to that Surprise, there are even more Pokemon games on the way. At a live stream event on Sunday morning, the Pokemon company teased two new titles, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The games are expected to launch on the Nintendo Switch in late 2022, and the brief teaser looked reminiscent of 2019's Pokemon Sword and Shield. The games are described as an open world adventure, and developer Game Freak says they take a new evolutionary step in the Pokemon main series. You can get a glimpse of the new starters in the image below, and we do have their names. As always, you're going to get a grass, you're going to get a fire, and you're going to get a water. We've got some information. Uh, the cat's name, The here's the little cat for you. This guy's name is Sprigatito. I think that's how it's pronounced. A grass cat Pokemon. You also are going to have this guy, who's described as like a fire croc Pokemon. His name is Fuecoco. Fuecoco. And then you have the duck, the water type. His name is Quaxley. Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon. So these will be your three starters for Gen 9. Officially, officially announced today. Pretty crazy this is all happening. Here's the official description. Trainers can explore an open world where various towns with no borders blend seamlessly into the wilderness. Pokemon can be seen everywhere in this wide open world, in the skies, in the sea, and on the streets. As one of the main characters, trainers will jump into the world of Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet to begin their adventure, where they will have a different outfit depending on which game they're playing. Pokemon will then choose either Sprigatito, the grass cat Pokemon, Fuecoco, Fuecoco, I don't know how to say that, the fire croc Pokemon, or Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon, to be their first partner Pokemon before setting off on their journey. And a couple things to point out. They say an open world with no borders blending seamlessly to the wilderness. When you know when you played Pokemon Legends Arceus, there it's open world but it's also gated, right? It's like oh there's a region. So you kind of you load into that region and if you want to go in a different region there's a loading screen and things like that. What it sounds like is this is going to be completely open. There will be no loading, nothing like that. And the variety of different environments that they have here, I think, is very interesting as well. Obviously, Pokemon in the recent years has been criticized for reusing a lot of things, whether it's trees that all look the same, whether it's uh, Pokemon that they haven't been updated, they're still using the same type of design, whether it's moves, like whatever it may be, that it, they've been, people have been critical of that for one reason or another. It looks like they tried to have a vast variety of different things in this trailer. Let's watch a little bit. You know, the beginning is like a live action thing. I, I don't really care to show you guys that. I care about what this game actually looks like. So let's watch it. I mean, look at this city too. I mean, that, that's a pretty serious looking city there as well as the wilderness landscape. Now, fidelity-wise, graphics, it kind of looks exactly the same as Pokemon Legends Arceus, in my opinion. Uh, but it does look like there's a different variety of, uh, of what you can see here. There's a little Meowth. Meowth. 
I mean, everybody loves to see Pikachu there. I had a lot of different images of, of Pokemon, but I think there, there's another, like, a tropical type of setting. Uh, so it, it's interesting, for sure. Very interesting that this got announced. I don't think a lot of people expected for Gen 9, two Gen 9 games dropping later this year. Now, maybe they use Pokemon Legends Arceus. Maybe it wasn't intended originally to come out maybe later in 2021 and they pushed it back a touch. I'm not sure. Uh, what I do know is it seems like they're going to go after that same type of template, but really just, well, in their minds, they're going to try to perfect it, try to make it fully open world, take the feedback that they got from Arceus and hopefully bring that into this game or these two games, Scarlet and Violet. But pretty cool news, uh, surprising news, as Nintendo likes to do, just kind of drop it. No, no like, hey, we're going to drop a trailer in the next three to six months. No, they just drop it when they're ready to drop it, which they did today. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.